you know, uh, but I bet you think you're a really uh, big man and old woman. I'm just going to give you stuff. I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to send you videos and links and you're going to laugh. Krusty, you're going to laugh. Is that what you believe? Tell me if, if that is what you believe. It's not going to happen. Is it? No. Am I going to laugh? No. I'm a, ma I'm a face made of stone. If you actually believe for one solitary damn second that you're going to be able to make me laugh, I'm just going to tell you now you're dead wrong. Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome to another episode. I just looked right into the light. Why did I do that? Welcome to another episode of Scum Day Sundays, right? In the, the, see, last week I said, send me like links and videos and stuff. Try and make me laugh. I said that. It's one of, it's one of those try not to laugh challenge things, right? That nobody has done. But here's the thing. I'm not like everyone else. You see, everyone watches this stuff and they just laugh. I don't laugh. Humor and fun. I don't even know what they are. Let's see what you got. First video. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go for some. Was that it? <laughs> Was that it? Is that I'm laughing now? It doesn't count. Is that you think? You think that's gonna make me laugh? Like that's not gonna. It's obviously not. That's stupid. Why would I laugh at such a stupid? Thing? I'm a highly respected person. I only laugh at like mature stuff. She's a wolf in mouse clothing. Oh. Ah! The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to. Ah! <laughs> no, that wasn't a laugh. I just um, I ch <coughs> shut up, shut up. This is um, I thought this was gonna be easy, but like this, like when you're trying not to do something, you want to do it more. You know, I kind of understand it now. Um, I'm not gonna laugh though, so shut up. Where's the money, Lebowski? Oh. You want that money, Lebowski? Bunny says you're good for it. Where's the fucking money, shithead? Oh, it's, it's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't a laugh. That was just like, I mean, I was slightly amused at the thought of a baby being in pain. Definitely not laughing. In order to make Krusty laugh, I just want to point out that there are people who actually use the pickup line. Are you McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. My dog used to chase people on a bike a lot. He got so bad, finally I had to take his bike away. Okay, well, I saw that coming uh, straight away. I saw that. I saw that coming. So that's obviously, that's not obviously not going to make me laugh, is it? Try better. Try better. The doctor says, I'm sorry, but you suffer from a terminal illness and have only 10 to live. Patient says, what do you mean 10? 10 what? Months? Weeks? Doctor says, nine what kind of stupid doctor would say, you only have 10 to live? What an idiot. It's better to be a professional. It's just not realistic. It's not funny if it's not realistic. My two-year-old scares me. Bites the head off of the gingerbread men. Well, I mean, really, I mean, what's the difference between starting at the head and starting at, say, the foot? I mean, if they rip the head off first, let's just say they are sentient, they are alive, they are living, then they're dead straight away. They don't have to suffer the agony of being slowly devoured from the foot upwards, you know, so really, it's a mercy killing, if anything. I mean, the fact that you think that is wrong scares me. You should be concerned about your own mental state of mind. You're probably a psychopath or something. My life. Get it. Because it's a joke. Dog with a funny face. Okay, what is this? <clears throat> Squidward dancing. Oh, Jesus Christ, how big is this image? What is, how am I meant to even see this? Play of the game, May. 
So it's an Overwatch comic strip. Um, I like Overwatch. Do you know what people say? Yeah, I can't read that. I can't read that. You may think I'm a loser in real life, but in the gaming world, you're a loser. What are you trying to... What? That, I don't even know. What, what are you even... What, I don't know what you're trying to say here. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now get ready for Beetle on the Pug. Bug on the Pug would make more sense. Bug on the Pug on the Mug on the Rug. Hilarious. Abs I mean, I rarely have I seen something funnier. If I come across as a bit shitty in this video, by the way, don't feel offended, alright? I'm trying not to laugh here, okay? Although, to be fair, it's not much of a challenge. Very easy so far. Um, consider me very disappointed. I expected better than this. Tag your friends. The jock, the flirt, the princess, the quirky one. Okay. Um, definitely look like pedophiles, don't they? Yeah, if I was a kid, I wouldn't go anywhere near them. Look at them. You know, obviously they don't look exactly like that in real life. But if I was a kid, even as a kid, I'd be like, no, don't, no, I'm going to. I'm going to keep my clothes on. Why are your pictures so small? I can't even see. I mean, that I don't have to read anything, but that, oh my God, they can't, they're so small. Donkin Dunnets. America run no dun dun. So Bobby if free in ut and brut. What is this? What is this meant to be? You take some words and muddle them around. Suddenly it's funny. Is it? That meant to be funny? Do you see me laughing? No! No, you don't! Oh look, this is my face. Okay. I thought time travel was impossible until now. But put a pair of glasses on Captain Birdseye and we have 100% proof Krusty Birdseye. I don't look anything like Captain Birdseye. We have a beard and eyes. We also have, we, we both have a nose. I met a girl with 12 nipples today. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Hey, I spot a gay. If I was like six, still wouldn't find that funny. What is the perfect birthday present? A broken drum, unbeatable. There's like a severe absence of joy in this video. All right, none. I want to laugh now. Okay, maybe the actual challenge of this try not to laugh video, the real challenge comes in finding something which is actually funny. Because this just isn't fu this is... You should be ashamed of yourselves. Absolutely bloody awful. Hello Wildcats, this is Weaver Cooks. And today we're doing, uh, chili cheese nachos. This is just meant to be like, is he, is he just really sad when he's doing this? He hates his life? Maybe? And then the cheese sauce, we just take off the lid. Okay, get to the point. And you just put it in the microwave, sauce yeah? Is really okay. And, and Did he really make a video a just for this? A dip that, and this is Weaver Cooks. I got a hunch that that man might be a little bit depressed. Might just need a little bit of a cuddle. Throw, throw those chips away. And the chili and the cheese and all that crap, just throw it away. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, I would like to order one cuddle, please. I don't know where you would ring to get one of them. But my point stands, he just needs a bit of a cuddle. What do you call a crazy judge? Judgmental. Oh. Okay. A man got hit hard in the head with a can of 7-Up. He's alright though, it was a soft drink. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like you're getting me here. I don't feel, I think, I feel like there's a barrier we're yet to break down, you know, because, I mean, it's not, it's not working. It's just not, I don't know if it's you or me, but it's just not working. Why doesn't he just eat the food? Like, he's got to play around with it. If it's not hot and, like, scalding his face, or maybe, maybe, no, maybe he is actually, that's actually his face, then this isn't really funny. It's just kind of sad. It's a very rare magical condition where somebody looks like they want a pancake for a vase and they only drink maple syrup or something. 
I mean, there's lots of medical conditions we're finding new stuff out in this world uh, every day. This could be a legitimate one. Maybe like the birth of a new superhero or villain. Probably a villain. A recent scientific study showed that out of 2,293... Whatever, people, 94% are too lazy to actually read that number. Okay. It's not laziness, it's just... I don't want to. So, you think you got me? Yeah, I don't, you don't have me. If you think you got me, you were wrong. See, I've seen that before. Otherwise, I, I would have laughed at that. The, 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 that's, <laughs> it's still quite funny. Insurance clerk, where were you born, sir? Man, in the United States. Insurance clerk, okay. And which part? Man, my entire body. Oh my god. <laughs> that's the best one. That, that's, yeah, well done. Well done. Finally. Finally something. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I've been sat here for seemingly so long and nothing is funny. What is this? What is this one? What is this? This is... When you win the argument. Okay. I don't do that when I win an argument. Who does that? Who turns into a penguin when they win an argument? Doesn't make any sense. Also, depending on your outlook, you probably would have just lost in general if you turned into a penguin. Sure, I love penguins. Penguins are great, you know. I mean, we got I mean, we got dexterity and all that. Penguins don't have that. Penguin wants to peer the banana. Can't do it. Senator Collins, thanks for coming in. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. This ship that was involved in the incident off Western Australia this week. Yeah, the one the front it... fell off? Yeah. Yeah, that's not very typical. I'd like to make that point. Well, how is it untypical? Well, there are a lot of these ships going around the world all the time, and very seldom does anything like this happen. I just don't want people thinking that tankers aren't safe. Was this tanker safe? Well, I was thinking more about the other ones. The ones that are safe? Yeah, the ones the front doesn't fall off. Well, if this wasn't safe, why did it have 80,000 tonnes of oil on it? Well, I'm not saying it wasn't safe. It's just perhaps not quite as safe as some of the other ones. Why? Well, some of them are built so the front doesn't fall off at all. Well, wasn't this built so the front wouldn't fall off? Well, obviously not. How do you know? Well, because the front fell off and 20,000 tonnes of crude oil spilled into the sea caught fire. It's a bit of a giveaway. I'd just like to make the point that that is not normal. Well, what sort of standards are these uh, oil tankers built to? Oh, very rigorous maritime engineering standards. What sort of thing? Well, the front's not supposed to fall off for a start. And what other things? Well, there are <laughs> two uh, regulations long. governing the uh, materials that they can be... Sorry. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's exciting. Very rigorous maritime engineering standards. Oh, very rigorous. Oh, very rigorous. Very, very vigorous. You got me. You got me. Good one. Good one. They're getting funnier now. This is good. Back causes chaos in catch Irish couple's catch kitchen. Did he catch him? Mo! Ho! Oh. 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 Marie, will you stop looking in the door? <laughs> if she wants to look in the door, she can look in the bloody door. Catch him, Daddy! Catch him! Catch him, Daddy! You're doing great. You're doing great. He's not. He doesn't even have it. <laughs> like if he was doing good, he'd have it. Oh! Did you get him? No, he's there. He's making a mockery out of you, boy. <laughs> you can turn off. <laughs> no, he's there. He's making a mockery out of you, boy. When I think of the word beautiful, this will now be what comes to mind. The dog's pissing. Dad, the dog's after peeing. And what is... What? Your note, help behind the door. What kind of house is this? Oh, fuck it! <laughs> 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 just headbutt in the microphone. They got it. They did it. Outside. Did this? Got a fright and he pissed himself, ma'am. So how 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 would you blame him? And you outside the door. I liked everything about that one. Magic eight ball. Am I stupid? <laughs> yes, because that's a bowling ball, isn't it? So he is. He is. He's in fact quite stupid. This always makes me laugh, heavy metal kitties. Okay, that sounds like my kind of thing. Let's go for it. <laughs> that was a good one. The 
kid has a knife and he's going to go on a murder spree and his mother's going to be the first victim and he's going to bury her in the garden. And eventually the dog's going to dig her up and they're going to go, oh, that's where Marjorie went. The kid killed her and buried her and then the dog, well done, we like the dog more. And then they're going to abandon the kid and then they're going to throw the kid out. But they're not going to tell the police about the kid, you know, because they still care about the kid deep down. So the kid's going to go off on some merry adventures, going to go on some kind of journey of self-discovery and then it's going to work out the life just isn't worth living and then it's just going to stick the knife in its ear ultimately dying in just despair and loneliness you've heard of elves on shells now prepare yourself for lannisters on a lannister on a banister okay keep an eye on that child he's gonna need he's gonna need a lot of help in life okay so this is everything you gave me um some stuff is really funny most of it wasn't so what then be we doing for next week's episode of the marvelous scam day sundays good question what are we doing so for next week's scam day sundays i've decided we're just gonna we're gonna do something all right that you guys really liked that's time we did it you guys really got behind it and you, you damn it you demanded we do more and i think it's about time maybe we do more of it some of you may remember a few weeks ago when we read a children's book dissected a children's tale well, I think it's time we do that again. So obviously in the comments, I just want you to leave a children's book recommendation down there. Just what the, I mean, something you think would be, something you think would be good and needs a little bit of deconstructing. So this video is now at an end. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and all that kind of flubber dabber dabber stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. So, so long and farewell and all that.